Hello everyone, this is Tormuse, and uh, I guess I've decided I haven't had enough of the long dark yet. Uh, I mean, right after I finished uh, the Wintermute game, the story mode, uh, I decided to try out survival mode, and holy moly, that's so much more fun than the story mode. I mean that with all due respect to the people who put all the effort into making the story mode. Uh, honestly, there is a lot of effort on display there, but uh, like playing survival mode is like, holy crap suddenly things are tense and interesting again when story mode just you spend so much time just trudging around the wilderness getting from a to b um it's uh yeah um let's just jump into that i like the first thing i notice um uh, unlocked feats there like uh, apparently these are things i unlocked during the course of the story mode apparently i sprinted 50 kilometers i did a lot of sprinting so now sprinting burns 25% fewer calories. Cool. It seems like I can select one of these once I unlock them to carry on into the uh, into the survival mode. So there's one for completing 250 hours of research, which research appears to be uh, something that doesn't appear in story mode, but it appears in survival mode. So okay. Gain 10% more benefit from each completely research book. Huh, okay. Uh, so there's another one for spending 100 days outside. Apparently I spent 39 days outside uh, over the course of the game. Survive 500 days. I've got 18% of that, so that's... You can do the math on that. <coughs> what's what's um, 18 times 5? Uh, that would be 90. I spent, uh, I survived 90 days over the course. It took, so it, it, it were, I spent 90 in-game days, apparently. A thousand fires. That means I, I guess that means I, I started 120 fires over the course of the game. Traveled a thousand kilometers. That means I traveled 380 kilometers. Wow. Snared 100 rabbits. I only used the snare twice. Yeah. Didn't really make use of the snare. Your snares are 100% more effective, so that doesn't seem like a, such a big deal, but, eh. <laughs> we have to coffee, energy drink, or ener emergency stims. 20 days outdoors during blizzards. <clears throat> so I spent a little less than two days, apparently, out in the blizzard. Dark Walker. You completely escape the Dark Walker challenge. Hmm. Sounds all very interesting. And these are all the challenge modes. Which I haven't, I haven't tried yet, so I, I don't know. A lot of challenge modes, it seems. Lots of achievements. Cool. Anyway, without further ado, let's jump into this new four difficulty levels. We've got pilgrim for newer experienced players, most interested in pensive exploration, most survival elements tuned to be very forgiving. Wildlife will not attack unless provoked. It lasts for five active feats. <laughs> Uh, yeah, wildlife will not attack unless provoked. It's uh, <coughs> very subnautica-like. And there's Voyager. For new or experienced players looking for a balance between exploration and survival. Wildlife is sparse, but can seek you out. Survival elements are challenging, but resources are plentiful. Allows for four active feats. Now you got Stalker. For veteran players looking for a punishingly challenging survival experience. Hostile wildlife is common and will hunt you down. All surviving, survival elements are tuned to be particularly challenging. Allows for three active feats. And then there's Interloper. This is the one that I'm going to be playing at, because I'm nuts. That's, that's just me. I, I like a challenge. I will die. I will die horribly. <laughs> but that's part of the fun. Let's see how long I can survive. <coughs> for expert players looking for the ultimate wilderness survival challenge, you start with the most minimal resources and have to craft everything you need to survive. The world beca becomes more hostile the longer you survive. So yeah, death really is inevitable. Lots of active feats. There's also custom. Um, I'm not going to bother with that. Um, yeah, let's uh, be Mackenzie or Astrid. Look how <laughs> look how much beefier Mackenzie is than Astrid. Like I, I, I'll say it again. It's it's kind of funny that this this you got the, this huge you know Hulking guy and uh, she's the one that has to end up carrying multiple people <laughs> in her in her chapter. Oh well. Anyway, let's play Mackenzie, I guess. And let's take the free runner, because it's the only thing I can. And I'm just gonna call it interloper. I've already tried this a few times. 
Uh, mysterious geomagnetic storm has brought your plane crashing down into the northern Canadian wilderness. How long can you survive? All right, prepare to die. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know what that says about me. That this is this is more interesting to me. <laughs> uh, just seriously, you know, like the like uh, like story mode like obviously a lot of work got, uh, got put into it you know um like i'm impressed by like the voice acting and the characterization and um the setup of all the you know all the parts that made that work together um oh here we go you know i once read an interesting book which said that uh most people lost in the wilds they uh, they die of shame yeah see they die of shame what would i do wrong how could i have got myself into this and so they sit there and they die because that's they didn't do the one thing that would save their lives thinking and i didn't, re didn't get to see the name of the person saying that quote oh well anyway uh okay yeah right in the smack in the middle of the wilderness and in inventory got nothing but the clothes on my back and a tin can for for melting uh melting snow that's it don't even have anything to start fires with like like i don't even have a coat like the temperature is uh, minus nine okay so uh i need to find somewhere i can warm myself up like fast or i'm gonna die uh that's cool that's <laughs> i can see wolves down there so i don't want to go down there probably there's a third wolf wow three wolves um there's another wolf up here i just heard a bark did I come from? I'm still getting my bearings. Uh, I'm still figuring out where things are. Is there a wolf? I don't have. I don't even have anything to defend myself with. So if a wolf attacks me, I'm dead. Um, anyway, let's. Um, no, seriously, is there a wolf right here? I can hear him snarling. Okay. This is probably going to be a very short game. Death was always inevitable, but now it is also imminent. <laughs> okay, let's just um, let's just let's just keep moving. Stick. Um, I think these sticks are gonna become very important. Uh, too long. Uh, like once I, uh, assuming I can find um, some matches or fire striker if I'm super lucky. But in the first, the first few attempts of this, I made um, like if I can survive the, if I can survive even one day, that's already. Uh, is that is that a wolf there? No, I think that's just a stump. Never mind. <laughs> I'm seeing wolves. Wolves everywhere. Um, where am I? Where do I need to go? Um, so yeah, like, if I don't find matches or some similar means of starting a fire, I'm dead. So uh, that means I need I need to find signs of civilization. Um, you know, probably people who have already experienced playing survival mode, they probably already know where to go. Maybe there are people watching, going like, "Oh no, you're going the wrong way, Tormuse." But uh, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just wandering. I'm just exploring. Let's just, just have some fun with this. <clears throat> Here's a deer. I will not be catching or eating that deer. Should I? Ooh, ooh, birch bark. Funny thing, um, my, my first round of um, playing this interloper uh, game, uh, Can't my hands. Um, I found 11, no less than 11 pieces of birch bark. That's more than I found in the entire game when I was playing in story mode. It's apparently a lot more common in survival mode. Not sure why that is. But, uh, whatever. Okay. Lots of sticks. Nope. A moose! 
Ah. Is he gonna charge me? Oh shoot. Is it charge me? What the frick? Go away, Moose. No. What the? That's brutal. He's so aggressive. He didn't. Affliction broken rib? Oh, wow. Oh, that's messed up. <laughs> I was worried. Oh, oh, that sucks. I was worried about the uh, the wolves, but uh, okay. Uh, okay. Broken rib. One or more of your ribs are broken. You cannot climb. Your mobility will be reduced until this injury heals. Recovery time 120 hours? This is going to take five days to recover from this? Die if I don't warm up soon. So yeah, let's, let's just let's just keep a distance from that moose. Oh wow, and the um, ability to uh, run is reduced as well. Whoop. Okay. Um, uh, damn it! <laughs> I was trying to ease off slowly, off the edge of the cliff slowly. So I could drop onto that lower ledge there and not fall all the way down. Did I just get another broken rib? Oh, this is fantastic. <laughs> oh, I got mauled by a moose. Twice. Somehow survived. Yep, two broken ribs. This one has a recovery time of 168 hours, so two more days. So that's, uh, it'll take a week apparently to recover. Seriously, let's try it. There you go. You can see overcame his ability to uh, not survive a fall of two centimeters. Hey, I got down and I'm alive. Hey, rose hips. Woo. Yeah, so three of them. That means if I can, if I can actually get a fire. And get rose hip tea, and then, uh, unfortunately, it's a more harmless moose or deer. I mean, um, this is new music too. This is neat. <laughs> hey, dead guy! You want have something? Please have matches. That was. That was the only thing that had a chance of having something that I could use, and there's nothing there. Nothing. Crow's feathers. Great. Okay. But that's just that's just how this difficulty level is. Yeah, you know, I'm thinking... Uh, I probably shouldn't have the webcam in the lower right corner. I mean, I only put it in the lower right corner because my uh, mysterious benefactor who gifted me the game suggested I put it there. But um, I'm actually not fond of it there because you, you can't see my stamina meter when it's there. Like, and the um, but uh, but yeah, the stamina meter is more than half red circle now. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Hide. How's his pathfinding? <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me! <laughs> that is one freaking ag aggressive moose. So I'm dead now, right? You died with this injured sustained during a moose attack. That was fantastic. I love it. Um, but seriously, let's see if I can uh, survive longer the next one. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why it's so funny to me. I traveled 8.2 kilometers. Oh, wait, this is, sorry, these are all time. Oh, this is the current one. Okay, I see. 
Sure, distance traveled 1.3 kilometers. Okay, the all-time greatest was 8.2 kilometers. That was my previous attempt. I, I, I played a bunch of games. Uh, two of them I survived one day. The rest I died fairly quickly. <laughs> um, like lots of zeros. What's that one there? One wolf close encounter. <laughs> Three moose attacks survived. No, I didn't survive the third one. Thank you. Moose killed zero. I can still hear the moose shuffling around. Broken rib three. Intestinal parasites. Cabin fever? Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. Presumably that means staying too much, uh, spending too much time indoors. Interesting. <clears throat> Longest burning fire in hours zero. <laughs> All time was five hours in the that other game. Cool, cool. Anyway, um, let's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Confirm. I I, I would save it, but um, apparently you can only save ten of those things. There's a cap of ten. I don't know why. Um. Yeah, let's try it again. Interloper. Uh, let's be Astro this time. For no particular reason. Interloper. Just so I remember what... I don't know, in case I decide to start another game where I'm playing at a lower difficulty level. I might. I might, I might, or sort of play at a lower difficulty level. I, I just, uh... I don't know. This is just interesting to me. Here we are. Uh, I went to the woods because I wished to live deliberately, to front only the essential facts of life and see if I could not learn what I had to teach and not when I came to die, discover that I had not lived. I did not wish to live. Oh no. Okay, well, you can pause the recording and read that. And this is this is new. This is really neat. There's uh, I, I I got this I got this location before. I found out the hard way. If you step out onto this ice here, uh, you fall through it. Like, it doesn't even give you the, the, the warning. You just fall right into the water. Which, you know, also gave me the opportunity to find out what happens when you fall in the water. Are those bunnies in the distance? Cool. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. Like I said, objective is to find signs of civilization. Um, because without... Without matches or some way to start a fire, I'm screwed. Uh, how's the temperature? Minus 20. Oh, she's got a t-shirt. Oh, so that sucks. I think it, there's some degree of random, randomization about what um, what clothing you start off with. Let's see if I can get a bunny. I'm not, I don't want to spend too much time at it, but... Gotcha! Booyah! Yay, free food. Um, and there's a moose carcass here, but it's, it's yeah, it's frozen, and I don't have any tools for it. So, oh well, cap the feathers, I guess. That's probably a waste. Um, okay, so there's a bridge thing there. There's a lighthouse there. Um, oh, um, I'm gonna. Let me grab the old man's beard lichen. Um, we got the, we're back to the regular wolves, not the timber wolves that were uh, so prominently featured in Astrid's chapter of the game. So, uh, you know, more, more infection risk and therefore old man's beard dressing becomes relevant again. Okay, so there's a wrecked ship over there. In the previous attempt I made, I tried going to the ship, and you can't bloody see anything. Like, you go inside it, and it's, like, pitch black. So I'm going to go to the lighthouse. Um, I don't know, that bridge might be interesting. I don't know. I'm, I'm exploring. Ah, yeah, um... One thing you have to kind of expect in this is, yeah, hypothermia risk. 
Um, I'm freezing. The um, to find a way to get up there. It looks like it's all sheer rocky cliff there. So look for a way onto the shore. Fortunately, the ice is seems to be thick enough and supporting me. There's no it isn't cracking or anything. Um, but yeah, I was gonna say like kind of have to sp uh, expect to spend all your time with your temperature gauge at the bottom. Um, so my, my, my hit points are taking down, so it's a race against time. Death really is inevitable in this challenge. Um, okay, so this is sheer cliff here. Can't climb that. There's a bridge. It goes over here. It leads to another bridge. Um, is there a way up around here, maybe? Maybe I should circle around the other side, but I'm gonna circle. I'm just gonna take a look over here because it seems to get lower and lower. There's a bit of a slope here, so maybe can I get up here? Maybe. Hear a wolf in the distance. That's not encouraging, but if I can get up here, maybe. Okay. All right. So yeah, um, after after I finished the game, I was chatting with uh, you know Anon, my my anonymous benefactor who gets me the game, um, and uh, ooh, ooh car could be something in the car, and uh, they said that. Um, the thing, the thing with 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 the game, with like with with um, in the trunk, like this, th this game started off with survival mode, and um, and it, and there was, it was that was the only thing available for a few years before they finally released story mode, and that with that context it makes a lot of things suddenly make sense you know like um I'm gonna grab a s stick oh, great uh okay let's let's get to that lighthouse um like i sort of imagine that um, there's, there's a path here. I, I'm hoping this leads to that bridge. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I have to imagine that in that context, um, are you keeping up with me? Did he cross the bridge? Crap. Uh, but yeah, in that context, the, the story mode, hey, Canadian flag, uh, the story mode must have looked amazing, you know? Like, up to that point, you had just a um, whole bunch of empty wilderness, and then suddenly you had, uh, and suddenly uh, this time you have, like, all this neat stuff, that, like, like the... You got a backstory for your character now, which wasn't there before. What's the temperature? It's still minus two. Okay, so I'm still freezing just a little more slowly. Medicine cabinet. Nothing. Okay. And plus, people who uh, already had experience. Probably stove, but I can't. I can't do anything with it yet because I don't have any matches. Like, oh, I can take. Oh yeah, I can take charcoal. That's that's another new thing. I can use that to draw maps. Apparently, yeah, start fire. No starter. No tinder. Can't. I uh, can't do anything. This will come in handy. Now I have some wood. I can break down the chair. It takes 45 minutes, but I'm rapidly freezing, so I I want to search for stuff first. Uh, can I break down this chair as well. Yep. I don't want to use up my 
survive the outdoors. What have we here? Handbook with information on wilderness survival. Researching this will improve your fire starting skill. Zero to five hours research. Cool. So we can spend time researching stuff. That's, that's cool. Uh, let's search all this too. So yeah, so um, again, if put in that context, well, this stuff will come in matches! Handy. Booyah! Okay. Um, excellent. Hooray. Um, okay, that stick that I picked up, uh, that can be broken down to tinder. Um, oh, I, should, I should have picked up more matches. Or more, more matches. More, uh, more sticks. I, I was just in such a rush. Okay. All right. Let's start a fire. Oh, I can burn the book, but no, no. Um, equal chance, except. Okay, we'll start with a stick. Your wood matches. I remember that those have a slightly higher chance of than uh, like the other matches. One little fire. Okay. Okay, so I go going. Put the cedar in there. That'll go for an hour. Long enough for me to break down this chair. I can warm up while I'm bringing it down. And then I can uh, toss it in. Just toss it all in. Because this is an opportunity to get some water going. And while that's going, harvest the bunny. 14 minutes, that's too long. Uh, 27 minutes, that'll do. Eight minutes till boil. Oh, okay, I can, then I can harvest some more. 15 minutes, uh, I'll, I'll risk it. Thermy risk is mitigated. Take the water, take the can. Let's start cooking up the meat. 34 minutes till ready. Break down the other chair. Move, move, move. This isn't burned. And numb that right now. Got some food in me, that's good stuff. Uh, let's get some more water going. And, okay, and, oh crap. Oh, it's two minutes left, oh man. Uh, I forgot to add more, uh, add more fuel to it. Uh, and while that's going, while that's going, let's, while there's still some daylight, let's take a look around. And the thing on the windowsill. Can't do anything with the radio. There's another chair I can break down for more wood, but uh, note left behind. Keep hearing my mobile ring. Get excited every time, but it's just as dead as always when I check. I don't know why I still carry it around. Sean's my savior, especially after Sue and Tori's suicide. <laughs> He told me about how we always wanted to do Death of a Salesman. His American accent is pretty good, too. We fell asleep in each other's arms last night. Sean wouldn't wake up. That's grim. Contributed by backer number 644. The fact that they use the word mobile to refer to a mobile phone and uh, talking about American accent, I, uh, I have a feeling that the, that particular backer is British. <laughs> so maybe it doesn't fit so well in a... Canadian game? Oh well. Ketchup chips. Emergency stem? Anything else here? Tomato soup! Oh nice. Hey, I'm finding good stuff here. Like, considering the number of games I played where I didn't find any matches, like, this is amazing. Might have missed a boil. Okay. Just want to keep an eye on that. Uh. 
container. Anything in here? Nothing? Okay. Another container here. Anything of note here? Anything of interest? Nothing? Nothing? What's this? I think I can use this. It can be used to leave signs and markers in the environment. Okay. Anything in the lockers? The pry bar. Okay, and, and there is a bit of a pixel hunt just as, just as before. I need to keep an eye out for uh, things in the ground too. Requires a hatchet to break down. Uh, yeah, these can be broken down by hand, but it takes a long time, an hour and a half, eesh. I can, he I can hear the water bubbling from here, let's get back to that. Rabbit, 19 minutes till ready. Um, what can I do in 19 minutes? That's 40 minutes. 40 minutes, yeah. I'm pulling it out by hand. Um, thinking. Hmm. Mm. I need to preserve these uh, matches as much as possible, so... So yeah, I'm gonna throw the wood in there. I think I've got everything that I can get out of this. Out of this place. Um, so yeah, current plan... Um, Time reading, like studying the thing. Water, get the water going. Put the stick in there. Thirty seven minutes. Oh, I think that means it's one minute short. Doesn't it? Because it says 18 minutes still boiled. 18 minutes. Oh, it's 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 a race. It's cutting it close. It's potable. Success. This is down to embers. Oh shoot. I'm gonna be able to find my way to the bed. the window and the bed was ha huh, good um, another thing in this is that um, it sleeps it lets it sleep until you're fully rested and then you can't sleep anymore so uh, So, it's got some cooked rabbit, got the, the banged up tomato soup. So, I'm not in too, not in too bad shape, all things considered. Um, you know, got less than half a liter of water. The, the tomato soup will provide a bit of water, but I, I, ideally I'd like to cook, uh, cook it first. So, what time is it? It's still minus two. I need to find some more clothes. Like, this this t-shirt is will not do. Uh, should I harvest the bunny? Let's, let's harvest the rest of the bunny. That'll pass some time. Oh, 
that might be a mistake. That might be like, this is like, you know, low priority stuff that I shouldn't be doing. Um, but I don't want to be carrying these things around with me. And if I drop them here indoors, then, uh, oh yeah, speaking of, speaking of which. Old man's wound dressing. Oh crap, I do not like that sound. Eat the rest of the, the remains of the bunny. Probably gonna want to eat this too. Um, it's a 25%. If it gets any lower, I, I think there's a chance of it going bad and stuff. So. Planning. Great, I don't even know where I am. Nor I'd like to be. Okay. Drawers. Those are next to the. Okay, if I, I can see. Keep the only thing I can see in view. Hey, wow. It's amazing I was able to find that. Oh, I don't have anything left to burn. Ah, oh, crap. Except for the survival book. I, don't really, I really don't want to burn that. Like, <sighs> Burning the thing that lets you, uh, teaches you how to, how to start fires. That's uh, some kind of irony in that. Well, this is suboptimal. Um, the stove was next to the door, wasn't it? What about the charcoal hand? Oh, man, it's Lee's Lighthouse. There you go. Oh, this is, this is messed up. Okay. Um, this is bad. I wonder if I should wait for... Like, partly, I am thinking, ah, I should wait until the, the blizzard passes, but, but then, um, I'm going to be starving. So, I don't know. Like, I don't know what's the better option. Right now, this is looking like a really crappy option. I can't even bloody see anything. You know what? Uh, I think... <sighs> I need to find some place to escape this cold. Screw this. I'm going back into, into the lighthouse. Because I'm gonna, I'm just gonna die if I, if I go out there. I mean, I'm death, like I said, death is inevitable anyway. Do I, if I don't blow him up soon. Windows there. So this is the wind. Should be a, oh, chair. There we go. Break it down. That that'll pass some time. Now I have something to burn. Table needs a, a hatchet to break down. Possibly have have stuff inside it. I'll, I'll never know until uh, yeah. okay. Hold on. If 
I can. Ah, gosh darn it. Where the heck am I? That's a container. Okay, I'm on the upper floor then. So is this the window that's across from the bed? Is the bed here? Uh, this, this probably looks really <laughs> confusing from the play, uh, from the audience's perspective. Like, where even am I? Okay, so that's the window that's in the stairwell. Okay. So that was in the stairwell, then this must be where the bed is, right? It's the cabinet. The cabinet's... Damn it. So hungry. Uh, where am I? I can't bloody see anything. Uh, okay, this might have just ceased to be fun. <laughs> if I can get to the bed, then I can... Um, Oh, I'm on the I'm on the first floor. How to get down here? Is here's my intention. Get like if I can get to the bed. Here we go. Because the bed warmth bonus gives a, gives a. Gives me a bit of warmth. Now it's let's see that that past times so there's light. I had no idea where I dropped those. So that's funny. Um, now it's light, so I can see, and there's no longer like wind howling and stuff. So um, yeah, um, shoot. So I'm starving, but uh, I'm going to go out because um, that pot belly stove only has one place to burn things. You know, I mean, sorry, burn things. To, to cook food. You know, it's only got one cooking slot. But uh, if I find, you know, if I just use any old ordinary uh, uh, cooking spot f fire w words form <laughs> word recall what am I trying to say uh, any normal fire anywhere else has two cooking slots so I can oh come the heck on why is there a wolf there uh, at least this time I'm not carrying the bunny so uh, maybe Ah, darn it. Okay. Um, I think it's time to take a daring, daring leap off the edge. How, how low is how? Oh, well, it's not too much, too bad a fall. Feel a lot better with my chances going this way than facing the wolf. That's all right. That's all right. Hey. Any cattails? Anything to eat? Anything at all? Okay, so there's, um... Like, I'm gonna open up <clears throat> the can of tomatoes soon. Oh, what? Come on, leave me alone. So cold. I'm alive. I might have to throw a stone at the wolf. Does fire deter the wolf? Like if I... Ooh. Come on, food. Come on, anything. Oh, 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 oh. Hmm. Nice. It's rancid, but it'll do.
40% chance of success, that doesn't sound great. I might actually end up burning the book. I'm not I'm not really expecting to survive anyway, really. Come on, little fire. Excellent. Okay. All right. Uh, cook up the fish. Forty-four minutes. Okay. Cook up the banging tomato soup, and I have to smash it open because I don't have any means of opening it. <clears throat> so I'm gonna get. Uh, 12% was lost. Hey, that's not too bad. All things considered. Why is my why am I still in a hypothermic state? It still feels like minus six, even with the fire? Oh man. It's only providing plus nine degrees of warmth. Okay, now it's providing. 13, 14, 15 degrees of warmth. So I probably still have a hypothermic state. No, no. One degree. Man. But that's why it was so important to heat up the tomato soup before I eat it. Because this will give me a warming up benefit, which will make it even, uh, even warmer for me. And let's get some water going. Yeah, so now I've got the warming up benefit. So it still says one degree though. Warm food goes straight to your core, heating you from within, protects against cold while active. Okay. I thought maybe it provided like a couple extra degrees or something. I guess not. Oh well. Fire will go for two hours. What can I do during the time I've got here? Oh yeah. Um I'm gonna use the charcoal. I can anything right now. Surveying local area. Doesn't really tell me much, but eh. How much time passed while I did that? I don't know. 1,091 calories. Nice. This was a lucky find. Hey, that was pretty good. Is there anything else I can cook? No. I don't have any. I don't have any other containers. It's, it's just this little tin can. That's all I got. Can I spend some time reading this then? Like, can I research a bit and then hit and then hit cancel to uh, interrupt it so I so I don't lose my water? And then get some more water going. <laughs> She's complaining she can't feel her hands. Blah blah blah. Is is it actually? Temperature's going back down again. Oh man. Okay. Let's throw all the wood on. That made it warmer. It's up to 19, 20, 21 degrees output. Okay, so that's six extra degrees, so that should cause it. It's five now. It's expired warming up. Oh man. Research, and I should be able to get halfway through that. Hit cancel, and then, and then this is boiling. D does that work? Does it does it count that time, or does it have to be a complete hour? I don't actually know. Got one 
1.19 liters. Because um, that was a half hour plus a half hour, and it looks like it didn't count it, which is disappointing. Um, Cause new stuff. Look at that bearskin coat. Takes two cured black bear hides. That's ridiculous. You have to kill two bears. Like seriously, like can of gunpowder, stump remover, dusting. Salt. What is all this stuff? This is stuff I never encountered in the entirety of the game. Price hatchet. Like, I played the whole game beginning to end and never encountered any of this stuff. Okay, anyway, let me just try something here. Let's use, let's research, yeah, because it says zero out of five hours research. If I say research for one hour, my temperature meter, meter's back up to full. Now it says one out of five hours. You have to research for the complete hour or it doesn't count. That sucks. For now, uh, I don't. I don't have any more fuel to put on that. That's uh, except the book itself. And it's getting cold again. Oh great! There's a, there's a storm coming up or something. Okay, um, I, I best move on then. The fire does seem to have deterred the wolf from approaching me. Deer, better than a moose, <laughs> demonstrably. So again, always looking for signs of civilization. Is there a way through here? Please tell me there's a way through here. Um, okay, so I'm going to follow the road. I mean, there, there was a structure this way, right? Although I still need to get things like sticks. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm being a backseat driver now. Just let the stamina recharge a bit. How, how cold is it in here? Minus four. Yeah, I like I need I need to find more clothing because it's flipping cold. <clears throat> uh, I'm down to like 25% of my hit points. At least I've got my like my meters. Um, how's the stamina? It's still refreshing. Once the stamina meter is full, yeah, I, I I don't like I don't like the webcam image in the lower right corner. You can't see the stamina meter. I, I might need to I might move it elsewhere for uh, future recordings if if I do this again. I don't know. Time for Astrid to show her uh, show her humanity, and by that I mean the fact that humans are endurance hunters. <laughs> okay, I might need to uh, like drop off a cliff again. <laughs> Starting to feel numb. Oh, the wolf got distracted by a bunny. Okay, I'm gonna take advantage of that momentary distraction. And keep running. Yeah, because things like, as I've found, um, you basically can't survive even one wolf attack. Like, it's so cold. like if, if I get a bleeding wound, I don't have any bandages. I don't have any cloth to make bandages. I, I'm screwed. And then I'm like, my. Uh, yeah, it's just followed by imminent death. Anyway, there's a building there. 
Let's check out that building. Going against the wind, aren't I? <sighs> Darn it. Yeah, seriously, that fish in the boat was a lucky find. You know, 1,000 calories, very nice. So there's a wolf up ahead on this road, so I think I'm gonna, think I'm gonna go off the road and uh, let's hope that there's hope there's some path there. Oh, is, that, is that a thing? What is that? And just 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 sitting there, just sitting on the ice, a fish like. How? How or why? Who knows? But, uh, still gonna take advantage of it. Um, um, is there a way through here? Looks like it's fenced off. This, this might be impassable. Oh, okay. Then again. Hibernia processing. Yeah, this is, these are all locations that were not in the original game. How interesting. Okay. Let's go anywhere that's indoors. I'm tripping over something here. Emergency stair injection. And feels like minus one. You see, you know, like if there was um <clears throat> excuse me. And again, if if there was um another I just need like one more piece of clothing and I'd be fine here. Broken a bit frame. Alright, hacksaw to break down. Um, yeah, like if I had a jacket, then I'd probably be warm enough that this would be fine. And I would actually be able to warm up here. Pink colors. Cycles. It's like coming up to the end of the day, right? Yeah. Okay, so got the beds here. Is there anything under the beds? Too long, uh, especially because my yeah my um, hit points are in the red. I was hoping there'd be like a stove. I have to break down. Uh, like a stove would be good, but I like I don't have anything to burn except like two sticks. That's not good. Uh, so some. Source of firewood is also necessary. I can take time to break down that crate. Bedroll. Like... No, no, I don't want to break it down, I want to use it. Are you kidding me? Sleep away the day hours, but I think I, I think I need to because I need to warm up. Because 
is rapidly dying. Sleep as long as you can, I guess. Fade into the long dark. What? But hold, hey, did I did I die just before clicking? <laughs> the bedworm bonus should have been enough to, uh, to 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 warm me up. Oh, that sucks. That was unfortunate. I guess I'll save this one. I mean, any any. <laughs> Any of these games where I survive a single day or write an existing journal, sure, I guess. Here's the first one I played. <laughs> survive for three hours. <clears throat> one day and 19 hours. That one's pretty good. I, at first I was calling them uh, Interloper 2, Interloper 3, and so on, but I, I just eventually I stopped, just called them all Interloper. After I passed 10 and realized it doesn't let you save more than 10. Yeah, there, one of these here faded into the long and dark, faded into the long and dark. <laughs> this one, you burn to death. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I was like, uh, spent the entire game freezing and I finally found some matches and I was almost dead. And I said, I'm going out on my own terms and stepped into the fire. <laughs> it was funny. I guess he had to be there. <laughs> but here, let's overwrite the one where I only survived for an hour. There we go. Uh, how long has this recording been? Uh, just over an hour. Let's play some more. Try some challenges, I suppose. Hopeless rescue. Hunted old bears after you. Yes. The old bear again. Only this time I have to get uh, the bear killer rifle instead of a spear. This is curious to me. The, um, the child says designed to last from one to three hours. But you get challenges that say things like storm arrives in 30 days you can't pass 30 days in three hours like 30 in-game days and three real-time hours that doesn't make sense let's keep the dead walker this is or the dark sorry the dark walker pink this to survive as long as you can search the green fires or all you can with the dark the knowledge will help you find a way to defeat the entity that that sounds all very interesting it's dead sleep and there's uh, one of these, which one was it? <clears throat> Survive for three days each in 15 specific locations across the game world. So 45 days total. How is that supposed to pass in three hours? That doesn't make any sense. I don't know. Um, I think, you know, overall, I think I want to, I want to keep the theme going. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'll just make this. Uh, <clears throat> I'll just make this the interloper recording, <laughs> the interloper session. <clears throat> you know, I had a good feeling about that one. <clears throat> like I actually found matches. Like that's like holy crap. That's an amazing find. He's at home with his solitude as a note reverberating inside a bell. Peter Helen, dog stars. <clears throat> oh, is it this place again? Only it's a different location. <clears throat> Got some stones in case I run into rabbits. Is this the same location? <clears throat> like it looked like it was by the ocean kind of thing. Anyway, let's let's let's, uh, let's get to the high ground. So you gotta get a better look at our surroundings, figure out where I am. <clears throat> I 
hear crows, which probably means they're, you know, flying over a deer carcass, which I can't do anything with, <coughs> most likely. Ooh, signs of civilization. Yeah, this is the same place. Okay. Well, I found matches in the lighthouse uh, the first time around, so... Ah, he goes, like, ah, fall of two centimeters, my one weakness. Oh, oh, vehicle. Anything in the back? Nope. Anything in the front? <coughs> Nothing in the glove box. I always compulsively flip open the visors. If nothing else, it lets me know that I've searched the vehicle before. I've never had flipping open the visors actually do anything. Let's actually get some sticks this time. Because the last game, like the one time... I feel numb. Yeah, yeah. The one time I uh, actually found matches and... Uh, didn't have any sticks, didn't have any actual things for starting fire. Um, so, yeah, just in case I am able to find that kind of sort of thing again, <clears throat> let's have some sticks on hand. It's not getting too far away from the path, though. I do want to. I'm in hypothermia risk territory. I'm so cold, I'm warming up again. <clears throat> I mean, I could go the, that way. I don't know. But the lighthouse is this way, right? I think. Like, this... I think this is like the part of the path that I was looking at after coming out of the lighthouse, right? I looked down, down and saw this. I believe that's the view I was looking at. RNG, give me what you got. Bridge is over there. I thought I was on the path to, heading towards the bridge, and I just got—I don't know—got turned around or something. This is where I wanted to be. Oh, he's—he's he's running. He's running. She. 
so aggressive anyway. I wasn't carrying any meat or anything. Anyway, that was very short-lived. <laughs> one, one hour. I'm going to bother saying that one. <sighs> let's let's be astral again. Go Astrid. <clears throat> anyway, um, yeah, as I was saying before, um, the um, extinction is the real survival is the exception. Carl Sagan, that's cool. Uh, uh, hold that thought. I'm gonna. Can I pause it? Hello. So I can look. There we go. Uh, to get water. Some some IRL water. Anyway. Um, where the heck am I? Why are you snarling at me? Leave me alone. I could go down there, but it's like... This is the same place I was before. This is where the, I got mauled by a moose. I remember now. Wow, the temperature gauge is all the way ha already, already halfway down. Minus 29, yikes. Do I want to go the same way as before? Do I go somewhere different? I don't know. Let's just pick a direction and go. Really do. Yeah, I was gonna make the comment about um, he hearing how the, uh, the development came about of the game, like starting with survival mode and people playing survival mode for years before story mode came out. Oh, God, you're freezing. Puts everything into perspective in terms of um, like why they made the choices they did. Um, you know, why there's the, the total lack of tutorial in story mode, which left me, like, totally lost and just genuinely confused in my first game. But, but yeah, like, I, I, and I can see, like, from the perspective of people playing in that context, um... <clears throat> The story mode, when it first came out, must have looked amazing. Like, you know, you got Kenzie and Astrid there, and you got all this characterization, this hints of backstory. You got that, you know, the, the, the hangar and the. Ooh, there's Birch Park. Um, uh, the hangar and the plane, and you got the site of the plane crash, and fire and uh oh you know, like like it must have, that must have looked incredible and like and i'll bet people like everyone playing were heaving praise on the uh on the dev team and going holy moly this is amazing how fantastic this is um and i can perfectly see that uh you know, in that context, it would be easy for them to lose sight of what it's like for a new player to come into it and have that be their first experience. Like, the story beats were interesting, the, the voice acting, the characterization, all that's very interesting. But, um... Um... 
checked out the tutorial, uh, like, it doesn't even tell you how to start a freaking fire, like the most basic thing in the game. And, uh, like, you watch the first video of me playing, and I spend uh, an inordinately long time struggling with this most basic thing, because that was a very big piece of birch bark for some reason. <laughs> that was kind of odd. Uh, and it was a blizzard. This is, this is fantastic. Fan-freaking-tastic. Reach mushrooms? No. Oh, great, we're good. Ah, now I can't... Not only is it, like, freezing cold, but I can't bloody see anything. I have no idea where I'm going. Like, I'm just gonna pick a direction and go, because... I'm hoping that, uh... Hoping that if I keep going the same way, I'll, um, if nothing else, maybe I'll reach the edge of the map and maybe I can, uh, you know, find my way to a new location, maybe. Because I, I believe that's how this works. It's just like the regular game where you can leave one section, go to the next. I just, this time around I made a conscious choice to avoid where the moose is, although I know there's randomization, so maybe there's no moose there this time. Um, maybe that was the way I wanted to go, for all I know. It's just getting worse and worse, okay. Well, you have case covered pillars for, foot, sorry, pillars foot rest. Okay. Don't know what that means. Um, I mean, this location looks pretty much like any other from where, where I'm standing. Sticks is what else am I gonna do? I mean, if, if I if I do find means of starting a fire, uh, ooh, cattails. Food. And tinder. So it's worth picking up a few of these. I mean, the birch bark can be uh, made to tinder as well, but. Uh, I'd rather, since the birch bark can be turned to a tea which, which restores your hit points, I mean, well, restores your quote-unquote condition, as the this game's terminology goes, um, I'd rather keep those for that purpose. Um, th that all depends on me, like, not dying in the next few minutes, though, so... We'll see how this goes. Ooh, can I go any? Hmm. Can I go any further up this hill here? Oh, it isn't that steep, is it? it? Isn't that steep, is it? I don't know where I am or where I'm going. I'm just wandering in one given direction. Hoping I run into something. I'm gonna die long before I get to use these. But I'm gonna collect them anyway, because what the, why the hell not? It only takes a few extra seconds. What's this? A container. Matches? Come on, matches. Or, you know, nothing. That that's sort of the default, that's kind of what you expect in, at this point. <laughs> you hear Brent. Oh, it's so cold. Ooh. 
Affliction Frostbite. Yeah, yeah, this is a new thing I never I got in the original game. Sustained Frostbite, your general condition is permanently reduced. And there's additional Frostbite risk and hypothermia risk. Uh, yeah, how? Sorry, what? It's temperature minus 33. Eesh. It's just going to get worse and worse, too, because the. Uh, is that a bridge? Is that a, you know, human-made structure, i.e. a sign of civilization? Can I get over there? Ah, oh, hell, I don't know. Yeah, like this is just. This feels like a case of uh, bad RNG that I uh, ran into a blizzard when, uh, like, right in the middle of the first day here. So, like, I'm kind of screwed. Where can I even go? What can I even do? And again, I'm, I'm sure there are some experienced players of the game that are going to look at this and maybe they, they're more familiar with the location and they know exactly where to go to start. Uh, cross by risk, okay. Um, oh shoot. How the heck do I get down there? Can I just drop down onto here, maybe? That works. I just saw something in the snow there. Is that the same container? Oh, I went in a big circle. Holy moly. This is a real life phenomenon, by the way. Um, it's, it's actually really common for people who get lost in the forest to go around in circles. Like, they, they, this is a documented phenomenon. Uh, people do that, and they go in circles until they die. Uh, it's, it's a real-life phenomenon. People, uh... People generally don't have a great sense of direction. <laughs> I mean, I was just following the rock face, so... Is there a way down there? I think I was <laughs> wondering if there... Oh crap. Um, I may have... Oh, oh no, 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 no. What? Am I stuck? Did I somehow get into a position where I can't get back up? I was just trying to see better. Okay, okay. Um. Oh, so cold. Oof, more. Is that. They just get a second dose of frostbite? Yep. Minus 53? I have never seen the temperature go that low in this game. That's madness. Okay, um, that's desperation time. This is very steep. Can I just slide down this? Oh, okay. <laughs> huh. That's a neat little shortcut down if this works. Yeah, I guess the key is uh, crouching. I've well, gotten this far. Um, that's an unnerving sound. It was just above your head. Uh, 
I mean, like I said from the beginning, like, death is inevitable, like... It's already, everything's already stacked. You sprained your ankle before... I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna drop down onto this thing here. I hadn't even dropped down yet. She already sprained her ankle. Like, Astrid, come on. How did you get down that other hill? And now is when you sprain your ankle? Like, come on. Ah, gosh darn. to remain a mystery how to get to that bridge uh, for a while longer, I guess. Um, so that was, um, so that was a sprained ankle. All right. What? Oh, all our clothes are frozen. Wet or frozen. Rose hips. <laughs> and reached mushrooms. So, um, sprained ankle means I can't run anymore. So, this is me just hobbling on to my death. <laughs> Very optimistically picking up sticks on the off chance I find matches in the, in the next moment. As another affliction of frostbite bruises. <laughs> Madness. I have two instances of frostbite and two more instances of frostbite risk. Like, I'm I'm dead from multiple directions. Picking up a stone on the distant chance that there's a bunny that shows up right now and I can like bean it for food. And then uh oh hell, even if if I uh even if I did catch it, or was able to hit a bunny with a stone right now, um, I wouldn't be able to run up to it to grab it. Ah, uh, yep, dead woman walking here. Hey, birch bark. It's the big birch bark. It's massive. Why, why are some of them so much bigger than the others? This <laughs> is so now she has three instances of frostbite. No, it still has two. And hypothermia. My temperature is too low for too long. You will weaken until you stay above freezing for 24 hours. So by weaken, you mean my oh okay the my carrying capacity is dropping. Here's one of those big burst bars. <laughs> it just fills the screen. That's so weird. these out of the sheerest of sheerest optimism like if, if I uh, I'm able to get a fire going I can you know heat up some reishi tea and some rose hip tea and those warm you up you know they give you the warming up benefit and they also provide a small amount of nourishment start but you know this is information you know what I'll use this information for next time like find out is this is this a worthy route to go you know is there something here maybe uh, maybe if I wander long enough in this direction I'm gonna find you know a human made structure and there's gonna be something here or maybe I'm wandering in circles again. <laughs> I'm getting tired rapidly too. Hey look, there's a or something. Hatch required for harvesting. Yeah, it could be that I'm going in circles. I haven't been keeping track of how many left and right turns I've been making. I'm, I'm, like, I'm just I'm just following the path.
there's this carefully crafted path here. You know, you have to go underneath some of these, uh, some of these, uh, little barriers here. So it lends itself to the, the feeling that, oh, maybe, maybe this is leading somewhere. How many sticks have I got, by the way? 32. It's <laughs> funny. Still feels like 51, minus 51 degrees. Considering how low the temperature is, I'm, I'm dying. I'm actually dying surprisingly slowly. I, I would expect my hit points to be dropping more rapidly than this, all things considered. Diverges. Still can't run. This is very conspicuous uh, looking little cave here. Now it feels like minus 30 here with the, with the wind chill gone. The, the wind takes off so much temperature, it looks like. This is a nice little cave here. You know, this would be a cozy place to uh, to lay down and stuff. What about that? Uh, what is it? Um, snow shelter. Fifteen sticks and five cloth. I've got the fifteen sticks. Five cloth. <sighs> oh my clothes are frozen. Uh, like okay, hold on. One cloth. I'm so tired, I can lie down right here. Affliction sprain risk. I already have a sprain. I'm just curious. I think this uh, yeah. That's hilarious. I, if I was going to make a snow shelter to, to sleep, so I can recover the tiredness because of the. I, 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 Tiredness meters at the, at the bottom there. Um, there's a bit, but I'll make it. I love that. It, that's that's optimistic if you ask, Trid. Oh, uh, very optimistic. Um, oh yeah, she's fading into the dark. All right. But yeah, there's, I only have enough clothing to get four pieces of cloth. Like, even if I destroyed everything, I wouldn't have enough to make the snow shelter. Uh, well, you know what? I'm going out on my own terms. I'm gonna... I'm gonna prepare rose hips to death. <laughs> oh, you have to have fun with it. I don't know, some, some people might look at this and go like, why are you doing this to why, why would you play a game where you expect to die that quickly? Um, let's go back to Mackenzie. And I guess, I don't know, I guess the answer is uh, because the, the occasions when I am able to survive longer are all the more thrilling and interesting and rewarding as a result. Um, like, the th thing with like playing playing the story mode, um, here we go. Life is an error making and error correcting process, and nature in marking man's papers will grade him for wisdom as measured both by survival and by the quality of life of his survive. And I didn't read the name again. It was it went by too quickly. Uh, but I'm gonna have to grab these sticks. I'm gonna grab these racing mushrooms. Yeah, what was I saying? Um, yeah, playing story mode first, and i.e. 
uh, the opposite order, apparently the opposite order that the, d the dev team expected people to be playing it. Um, okay, so I can climb up there, but that's going to tire me up very rapidly. So I don't know if I want to do that. So I don't actually have a map, right? I'm in Ash Canyon. Whatever that means. Um, yeah, another barren, desolate wilderness. Um, and I want... Again, I want to find Science Civilization and... Uh, since I had some luck climbing down this way before, let's try this again. It seems that crouching and then just moving slowly and finding finding those spots where there you go. The rest of this is, should be relatively easy, I think. Nice. Ah. So, what direction do I go in? Who knows? It kind of looks the same in all directions. So, I want to go wherever looks the most like a path, I guess? Cold is making my head feel thick. In the hopes that there is a path that will take me to another area. Now, I did play this before, uh, the Ash Canyon, and um, a lot of hell. Um, yeah, I don't even remember which way I went. I'm sort of hoping that I see something that looks familiar, but. I don't know. Anyway, getting back to what I was saying earlier. Hey, bridge. Right. Hey, that's... I Okay, so I'm at the bottom. Too cold to think. So, this is the same place in the game that I just played, I think. I'm, I'm underneath the bridge, and then I, I went along that path, and I just wandered, just wandered along the path until I died. So, I'm going to go a different way. curious to know what's up there where that bridge is. I just have no freaking clue how to get up there. That's pretty steep. Okay, that doesn't look like it goes anywhere. Anyway, I keep interrupting myself. Um, yeah, playing the story mode... Um, like, I didn't know how anything worked. It was my first time playing, so I just, um, I collected everything, I hoarded everything, and ended up not using most of it. Um, I mean, you know, maybe that's on me for not, like, experimenting and trying things out. Um, but there's, there's, you know, there's a lot of stuff that didn't end up being usable anyway, like, um, like this, this game survival mode. Like looking at the, the blueprint thing. Look, you start off with the ability to build arrow parts. Not to mention all this other stuff. Look at all this stuff I can build. I didn't. I never ever got the option to do anything like any of that in the story mode game. Like I, I got the, uh, the parts for it. Like I, I got the. Uh, you know, crow feathers were a thing all along. 
But uh, I basically never got. What's heavy here? Ooh. Something, something, signs of civilization. Um. Bitter Marsh. And so is it a container here? This is a coal bin. Yeah. What have we here? One single piece of coal. I'll take it. Fishing hole. I don't have any fishing tackle. I'm gonna take the charcoal out of here. Is it worth? Oh. Probably wasn't worth spending the time doing that. Hey, look at that. Oh, Sips. Cat tail land. Oh, neat. Cabin. Wait, there's a cabin there? Where's the cabin? I don't see the cabin. I'm losing it. Where? What's that up there? That looks like another like human-made structure over there. map. Bring up the map. Oh, there it is. Okay. Like, where am I with respect to this? So there are cattails over here. So I get... Okay, why doesn't it center the map where I am? So I guess that's these here. So... If I want that cabin, I want to go in the opposite direction. I'm still going to collect these. Because they're here, I'm here. It's neat music. How come we don't get this music in the uh, original game? This is food and tinder. This is good stuff to have. Yeah, like in episode three, anyway, get back to what I was saying. In episode three, uh, like, after after the experience of finding out how valuable the coal is and getting the forge to work in, in McCain's episode, I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna collect all the coal together so I, I can, I, so I'm gonna, so I can find a forge and build lots of neat stuff. Because I figured the story mode, because like, the story mode unlocks bits of blueprints at a time, whenever the game feels like it. And, um... So I thought that, um... It was gonna prog I, th I just sort of assumed it was going to progress from, okay, you uh, had the ability to build these things before, now you're gonna build, be able to build more things. I was like, okay, let's let's save up all of these. What in the heck is this? Is that a branch? It's just it's just clipped into the ground. It's just just looks weird because of that. But no, seriously, where is the cabin? Where's this alleged cabin? I don't see a cabin anywhere. I'm I'm genuinely confused. Taking this detour because I, I, it said cabin, and I was like, oh, that sounds like something I need to find. Something I want to find.
Well, shoot. Where is this mysterious cavern? Shoot, I'm all turned around now. Um, I thought it was. I thought I was heading back to the. This map, it doesn't, it doesn't show where you are. Okay, Ash Canyon, sure that downtown Broken Railroad. I, like, I recognize some of these occasions of Pleasant Valley, Mystery Lake. Hmm. Astro spent her time in Pleasant Valley, whereas McCain spent his time in Mystery Lake. So, presumably they're, they're Meeting up with each other. It's hanging towards the same place. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm so at Ash Cannon and I'm off in the middle of nowhere. Nice if the map was a little more useful or functional. Shattered Cove. Okay, Shattered Cove is a place that I got to in the previous uh, run of the game, one that I didn't record. So... I think I don't want to be here, because... Uh, when I ended up in Shattered Cove, I think I ended up uh, in a going around in circles kind of circumstance. Yeah, I'm right under the bridge. Well, shoot, how did I end up back here? I mean, aside from the fact that I deliberately turned around to, uh... <clears throat> I deliberately turned around because I wanted to figure out a way back to... I want to find my way back to that little ice fishing house thing. Because when I mapped the area surrounding it, it said cabin. But, you know, maybe. maybe I was going to say that maybe the ice fishing thing itself is, a, is the cabin in question, but no, it, like, it looked on the map like they were far apart from each other. So I don't think so. in a state of wandering aimlessly and probably going to die. There's another bridge. That can't be the same bridge, right? Because I came from this direction. That's not a case of me going in, in circles. There are multiple bridges. That's probably contributing to throwing me off about my attempts to figure out where I am. Good to know for next time. I mean, unless I really did just go in a big circle without realizing it. If I walk over here and it says uh, Shattered Cove again, um, I'm going to be annoyed with myself. <laughs> it's going to be nighttime, so I can't. <sighs> can't see as well. Tips. Can I step into the waterfall? Probably not. Okay, anyway. <sighs> okay, um... I'm 
again, you know, that's another roll and all that. Let's just keep the commentary going. Um, I was going to say something about the... Hmm. Yeah, story mode. Um, like... I, I, I just... Um, filled up on everything I could carry and, you know, pack guy instincts kicked in, so I was like... Boarding everything. It's like, I don't know what's useful, what isn't. So, um, I ended up uh, constantly loaded down with stuff. And constantly. So, so everything was a lot slower, for one thing. And also, um, um, uh, I, I never had any any need of anything. Like there's there's never there's never a uh, concern that I was gonna die uh, unless I did something stupid, you know, like charge a bear or something, uh, or the occasional like timber wolf attack or whatever. And even I then, felt so cold in my life. Uh, they're uh, dying faster now. Um, Okay, there's the... Okay, so there's the ice fishing hole thing again. And I'm approaching it from the same direction again as well. Like, I can't start a fire because I you know, don't have a... don't have any matches or anything. But I can't... I can't break the, uh... Um, the roof of the fishing hole is broken too. But yeah, like, seriously, what is this about a cabin? Spending all this time searching for... I don't know, I can't bloody see anything anymore. Like, even if they're... If there is a cabin around here, um, I don't see it, and I don't. And there's, I'm not gonna. If I couldn't find it when it was lighted, I'm not gonna find it now. There's nothing left but to uh, wander until I die at this point. Anyway, yeah. Um, <clears throat> My, uh, um, the, uh, anonymous benefactor, uh, I just like saying that, um, uh, told me that people who are experienced with the survival version of this game, uh, like, you find a place to rest. like, breezed through the, um, uh, breezed through the story mode at, like, three to five hours per episode. Um, which is not even close to how long it took me to get through it. Um, you know, that's a consequence of me trying to explore and discover things and uh, figure things out, I guess. Um, and just also just generally not having a clear idea how the game works. Uh, I just ran myself out of stamina and then when the tiredness when the tiredness meter reaches zero then I can't run anymore. I'd lay down right here if I thought I'd ever wake up again. <laughs> I wake up yeah, good good to see Mackenzie keeping a sense of humor and troubled times. I mean I guess maybe he wasn't he wasn't joking, he meant it seriously, but 
is sort of a funny way to say it. You know what, screw this. I can't bloody see anything. Might as well just walk walk into the jaws of the wolf. Like even if I find matches right now. The two of them? Okay. Like, even if I find matches right now, like, I don't know, I'm still gonna die from exhaustion. <laughs> and I still can't bloody see anything. Or have any clue where to go or what to do. Let's just keep alternating. list of things to be done, the day providential to itself, the hour, there is no later. This is later. All things of grace and beauty such that one holds them to one's heart to have a common province in pain, their birth in grief and ashes, carve McCarthy the road. Okay. When we start in the night, it's different. Where the heck am I? Timberwolf Mountain. Okay. Yeah, checking checking the map screen seems to be uh, yeah. Like if I can find my way here to Pleasant Valley, then I'll know where I am and know what's what. So that could be cool. Um, so I mean, like if I'm following the map, it looks like there's a river that leads there. So I think I want to get down. If, like, if I can get down to the ground level down there and follow the river, maybe I'll uh, get somewhere where I can. Um, yeah, like, if I can f get somewhere where I know where things are, probably dramatically improves my chance of survival. Because, yeah, you know, Pleasant Valley. Sure um, cold. Like, I know where the community center is, and, uh, like, Molly's house. One of the, the games where I, I uh, 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 survived longer, I actually started near Molly's house. And, uh, I'm away from there. It's so cold. I just want to lay down for a bit. Is this, like, reckless and incredibly dangerous? Probably. Is this intended play? Not sure. Maybe Astrid discovered hidden mountain goat skills in herself. Like, I'm able to do this, so what the heck. Probably the experienced players are able to do this faster than I can, I don't know. Maybe there are speedrunners that are that do this all the time. Whoop. Careful there, Astrid. It's a bit of a steeper drop. And you got a whole bunch of things there. Oh, oh dear, that wasn't good. Sprained ankle pain. Is that torn clothing too? Oh well. It was definitely more than two centimeters.
I don't see a river here. Now I can't run here though, a sprained ankle. <sighs> Just doing so well. What's that day-night cycle looking? Okay, we're coming in today. That's smart that I'm sure it does. I kind of wonder about Astrid's lines, by the way. Like in this this little idle dialogue here. Um, Ow. Like mo a lot of it, if not most of it, um, like it feels like it's quieter. It's quieter than Mackenzie's versions of the, the same dialogue. Um, and there are plenty of occasions when. Um, um, the subtitle says something, but I, I I can't hear her, or it's it's so quiet that uh, like if, if I if it wasn't for the subtitles, I wouldn't know she was speaking. So I have a feeling like I don't know they need to up the volume on Astrid's lines, or the um, or maybe they need to re-record it. I don't know I don't know what uh, kind of access they have to the voice actress who uh, who plays her. Uh, like as it is, it's I don't know, a little off, I guess. Oh well. Maybe I shouldn't have taken such a shortcut. <laughs> I mean, I had to know a sprained ankle was a very likely consequence of that drop there. I mean, I don't know. I I wonder if it would be worth like ripping up some clothing to uh, to make a bandage. Like, how are these clothes? It's uh, it's like this is only 0.1 degree. This is also only 0.1 degree. She's in a jacket. I'm honestly tempted to rip up the socks just to make bandage so I don't have to hobble all the way everywhere. You know what? Screw it, I'm going for it. Ten minutes to do that. And then, uh, 10 minutes to make bandages out of it. Use the unsprained angle. <laughs> so I took 20 minutes to repurpose my socks so I could put it back on my foot. <laughs> and now I can run again. some reason. So this is the engine of a plane. I wonder what... Is that the plane that went down in, um... You know, in Astra's chapter? The one, the one where it had all those people? All the ones that Astra personally had to carry? in there. The way, the way these games have been going so far is probably nothing in there. Anyway, um, yeah, where, where do we go from here? Um, right, like, seriously, like, is, is this map any indication? Um, like Timberwolf Mountain. It's possible this map means nothing. And the, the that representation of a, a river like really actually does not mean a thing. 
I had hoped that there was a very clear path. Oh, hey, that guy. Spray paint. Why is the wolf bothering with me? There's a, dead, there's a perfectly good, there's a perfectly good dead guy for you to eat there. Like, come on. Why would you chase after me? Is he chasing after me? Like, the other wolf got distracted by the bunny. Like... He just walked right over the corpse. You dumb wolf. Lead him over here. It looks like there's a little drop here, and then they, that will mess up his pathfinding. Looks like there's a path there, oops. So much for a drop. And I'm back in Echo Ravine. I want to be able to jump. Why can't I jump across there? stamina when I started the climb. Oh, is it, if I reach the top and then and then have to drop, that'd be hilarious. But the stamina's at the bottom. She's still climbing though. Okay. But maybe she would... Danger searched. This shape is not shown on the map when sprayed. Hey, look at the crows down there. Materials, <laughs> storage, tools. doing this climb. Stem is dropping even more rapid than before. Probably because the tiredness is so low or tiredness is so high. I mean, my inverse tiredness is so low. I 
take it. Why not? I need to find a place to rest. Is there anything up here? I don't know. This is a terrible mistake to, uh... Up here, and the answer is probably. I've never felt so cold in my life. Yeah, her delivery of some of the lines is kind of odd too. Like that, that little line, like oh, 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 so cold. It's I don't know, it's a bit of a weird delivery. I don't know if that was the actress's choice or if, or if somebody told her to deliver it like that. It's just, it's just kind of comical, the way she delivers that line. Which kind of, you know, betrays the seriousness of the, uh... The line, in my opinion. Over here. This is a path that leads somewhere? <clears throat> At this point I'm too tired to run, so I'm just gonna have to walk it for a while. How's the temperature? Minus 17. <laughs> it seems that like once once that temperature gauge hits the zero, hey, Kate, new location discovered. Neat. Once that temperature gauge hits zero, like, oh, hey, stuff. Sticks, firewood. It's a torch. Nobody needs this anymore. It's an, like an actual torch. Food, nice. Backpack. Survive the outdoors. Hand with information on wilderness survival. Researching this will improve your fire starting skill. Huh. Cool. Source of charcoal. Still don't have a starter. So you can't do anything with this. Oh, are those matches? I'll take it. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, start fire. 5% chance, that's 60% chance of success. Hey, the time I spent making the tinder just paid off. Feels like minus two, feels like minus one, feels like zero. Feels like one. Feels like two, hey, it's still climbing. Let's get some water going. I had already resigned myself to, uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna die, so, um. Points are still ticking down because of the, uh, you know, tiredness at zero. I mean, it feels like the wrong term saying tiredness at zero because no, like I'm, I am tired. But the, um, I don't know, whatever this meter is called, is at zero. Is there seriously, um, I got one thing of rose hips, if I could make some rose hip tea and I could warm myself up, that would be fantastic. Um, and, uh, not having that as troubling. Um, I think I think it's warmer. There you go. Okay, 
So, seriously, no, there are no gross hips around here or ratio mushrooms. Can't break these down without a uh, hatchet, right? Yeah. I'll come back to the fire in just a moment. I just want to take a look over this bridge to see if there's something I can use. You know, to warm myself up faster or provide nourishment or something. Jesus, this is cold. Rose hips, yes. If I can get one more of these, then uh, make rose hip tea. Like, come on, there we go. Excellent. Wait, those aren't rose hips. Darn it. I thought for sure those were rose hips for a second. Those are footprints. Those are my footprints, aren't they? Oh, so cold. Rose why have you forsaken me? <laughs> the hit points are still taking down because, like, temperature at zero and Alertness is at zero. I don't know why she can't just lie down and sleep anywhere. Like, why do you have to have a proper bed or shelter or whatever? Just. You know, like. The alternative is death. I mean. Lie down in the damn snow. Like, it's not gonna be comfortable, but at least you can get some sleep. I don't know. Come on, rose hips. Or raging mushroom, something. Oh, my hit points are in the red. Or my condition is in the red. In the game's terminology. <sighs> like in a game where I, I was lucky. In in a session where I was lucky enough to find matches, I, I it makes me feel cheated. <laughs> Threw in, added another degree to the output. Doesn't have any effect on um, how fast this thing uh, repairs, but uh, let's see some um, But at the, uh, the the rate at which this increases is uh, notable and considerable. Uh, she's got a frostbit. Probably put off the risk on the top of her head because she doesn't have a freaking hat. Her max weight capacity is 15 kilograms. I guess that's that's just from that's from sheer tiredness. There's no, there's no sleep option, like... Nothing I can do but just wait to die. I don't have enough rose hips to make throw sip tea, I can't, I can't do anything. I can have lots of water. <laughs> yeah, 
frostbite risk. The temperature's all maxed out now. Got a liter and a half of water. That's you know that's amazing for all things considered. For I mean considering how these, how these games have been going so far, but. The inability to lie down to sleep is what's killing me now. And I, I can't, uh, I can't run in this state. So I just have to uh, wander around, walking around until I die at this point. Good idea. I, uh, I should have done this while I was next to the fire. Cave, plastic container, cedar lip. Yeah, I was kind of hoping this would give me some information or something. It doesn't really tell me much. It tells me there's a cave there. Um, I think that's referring to the cave that I'm in. But yeah, like this this game like severely limits your options for sleeping. Like if you don't have a bed, you're screwed. You can't do anything about that. Is not yet written. 77 of 165. Special thanks to Bank Backer number 7043 for this contribution. <laughs> I guess it was an anonymous backer, they're just known by the number. See if I can discover anything before I before I go, but probably not. <laughs> Tormuse fades into the long dark once again. Taking down from two sources. I guess they aren't really hit, hit points. I guess condition is is more fitting because it's not like you know. Ah, I think I go. Ah. I was about to say, I'm going to go on my own terms and throw myself off the edge, but I, I wasn't fast enough. <sighs> At this point, I'm tempted just to wrap this up by trying one of the challenges, just for something different, but then again, um, I'm just going to try one more time. Because um, if I try one of the uh, if I try one of the others, or even try a lower difficulty level, I might survive longer, and then, then the game's gonna get dragged out long, uh, too long. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, this is, this will be my last attempt. <clears throat> 
No one can tell you tell what goes on between the person you were and the person you become. No one can chart that blue and lonely section of hell. There are no maps of the change. You just come out on the other side. Stephen King's stand. All right, so I'm back in, uh, where is this? Desolation Point. Okay. So this is, this is, uh, where that, like, the ocean is, right? Where, where, where is Desolation Point with relation to everything else? Way the heck out here. Huh, okay. Like, is, is this the place with the, uh, the ocean and stuff? I should have looked at the map in the other, uh, the other times I was there. Yeah. It's just a different starting point in the same thing. Okay, let's collect some sticks this time. The previous time, I, uh, didn't have enough firewood and stuff. Hey, there's a bunny. If I can find a stone, I might like to be in it with a stone and uh, have a little extra source of food. What is this? I've yet to actually prepare any rosehip tea in these sessions. Seriously, is there a stone around here I can just curl at that bunny there? Oh, damn wolves. Uh, it's cold and there are wolves after me. Obscure reference. You know that obscure. even need those, I just... I'm only grabbing it because like, oh, it only takes a few seconds, so why not? But don't make it take longer. Looking for the right pixel to click on. Anyway, I'm looking over by the shore because... Uh... It's break? Oh, it's a deer. Those are the, the clippity clop sounds. It's like... I'm like, what the heck is that noise? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Having pathfinding issues. I didn't really expect him to walk, run off the cliff there, but... there maybe? Carcass is too frozen solid for me to do anything with. How does the wool be able to do anything with? There's a pry bar, okay. Well, I will leave the wolf to his meal. That's fine. I need to find some place to escape this cold. Here, it's here. I think, uh, I think there's, a, there's a bed here. This is a good place to to rest up, but not a good time to rest up. 
because I don't want to use up the daylight. Last time I went in here, it wasn't quite warm enough to, like, actually warm up. It's at zero. Exactly zero. Anyway, lonely lighthouse. Let's see what's in here. If anything. Will I find matches this time? The answer is probably not. Because more often than not, in these things, I find nothing. I'll just do the same thing I did before, just in, in the sense that of uh, search for what I can. Hey, ketchup chips. Emergency stim. Never actually tried using the emergency stim, you know? Throw it left behind, it's gonna be the same one, right? Yeah. How many times have I found that note now? Found it in the previous run. Uh, 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 it was unreported. Hey, clock. That means I can make. Uh, the spray paint seems to be in the same place every time. anything up here, it's just, um, oh, metal container, God nothing, freezing. just take a look around anyway, okay, In retrospect, when it was hovering at zero, like this, oh, now it's minus one, never mind. I was going to say, while it was hovering at zero, maybe that was a good time to break these down so that my hit points weren't taken down. But... It's a hatchet. It's maybe worth breaking down, I don't know. Um... I go for a run somewhere else. Hey, there's even still some daylight. I don't suppose there's anything around the back behind there. No? That's on rose hips. <laughs> hey, there's a loom. Nice. I think it's just an ambient sound effect, but uh, it's always like the sound of uh, loon calls. I, uh, parents own a cottage. Uh, I used to go up as a family, you know, every summer, and you'd hear loons out in the water. And that that call there, 
uh, sort of always associated with uh, like it's sort of a happy sound. It's sort of like yeah, sort of sounds sort of like laughter. That one, yeah. Yeah, this is, uh, they have three different calls that they do. I mean, three different kinds of call. Like there's there's that one. It's sort of a laughter sound, and there's a. Uh, Sometimes they have the wolf just catch a bunny now. Okay, I'm just I'm just gonna leave it be. You, you, it's fine. You just you have your bunny. That's fine. I can't feel my feet. Just walk over here. There's a uh, just stick, but I'll take some fish mushrooms. How am I doing for sticks? Got six. Six sticks. Maybe I should have broken down a chair or two while I was uh, while I was in the lighthouse. Eh, I don't know. I didn't want to endure the cold any longer than I had to. Um, Damn. I'm freezing. There are crows flying around there. It's probably not worth looking. I mean, every every time I found like a frozen deer carcass in this challenge mode, is there was um, it was too frozen to do anything with without anything to cut it. So I'm not gonna bother checking it out. I'm just gonna keep going. Because when I headed, headed this way before, there was uh, there was stuff. There were buildings and stuff, things to explore. What have we here? First aid kit. I could use this. Bandage. Cool. I was considering whether or not to uh, uh, break down that piece of cloth I found to bandage, because of that. That, that took the uh, the need away from me to, to do that. So that's cool. <sighs> oh, those it's happy loots. Aside from the sound, they also sometimes make a sound, which I've always thought sound like a forlorn, lonely kind of sad sound. And then there's the there's the other one they make when uh, which sounds like an alarm, which is like I can't, I'm not even, I'm not even gonna try to uh, recreate the sound. It's this. Hibernia processing. Here we are again. Anything in here? Anything on the floor of the vehicle? Can't bloody see anything, so. Did I get the charcoal out of the potbelly stove? I might have, I think I forgot to. Oh well. So I'm in the trailer. That's uh, the under temperature at zero.
27 minutes gets me a bit more tender. Uh, or I can take 5 minutes to break down one of the sticks. It's back in the game. I can't really see anything. There's a bed in here somewhere. I think. If this, assuming this is the same trailer, I'm. Oh, oh, had it. Here. Oh, it's 3 degrees of bed warmth. Pass some time, get rid of some of the night, while also warming up a bit. Now it's like the middle of the night, oh, I'm parched. around and down hoping that I Yeah, like I need to explore this during the day. Like I can't just think I can do it any of this. Um here, let's um I need some water. Here the rose hips have passed 15 minutes. While well, I slowly die from thirst. Make the old man's pure wound dressing. That passed some time. Here's another 15 minutes. Do you make rifle cartridges? Or... So you need a bullet, gunpowder, ammunition workbench. So it's different from a regular workbench, I guess. Yeah, all these things that you just never make, you never encounter. Moose hide cloak. <laughs> you need to, you need to kill a moose. Do you make line? You just need gut. So you just have some you just have some cured gut and a workbench in 15 minutes, and you can uh, and you can do some fishing, and, and presumably you need a hook as well, scrap metal and a workbench. Also, doesn't need a tool or a fishing tackle. Hook, line, and then 10 minutes. And it can be made anywhere. You don't need a workbench for that one. It's cool. Never actually tried making it before. It's, there's, it's, it was abundantly provided in the game, and uh... oh, what the hell? Here, let's pass some time. Twenty-seven minutes. Kind of slowly dying, but. Uh... <laughs> Like, I can just sit and pass time, but I might as well be productive about it. Get something out of it. <laughs> I'm like spinning around. Oh, oh lead trailer. Where was that? Oh, Mess it up by moving. I don't know how I found that. <laughs> it's so dark I can't bloody see anything. There's a limb again. Can't feel my hands. I can't just pass the time sleeping either. Um, Maybe if I jog around a bit, 
I'll tire myself out faster and then I can sleep more. Then again, that probably makes me hungry faster too, so. Die if I don't warm up soon. I'm in hypothermia risk territory, so like. That coupled with the dehydration is gonna. I need to find food. Let's eat the ketchup chips. <laughs> Canadian classic. I'm dehydrated anyway, so can't get any thirstier. I'm moving the mouse in the same pattern that I was moving it anyway. This is daytime. Break down the box. And then, you know, sleep for a few hours. as long as I can sleep. It said middle container, I don't know where that was. What if I crouch? So hungry in my life. Oh, it's a little later now. Just a teensy bit. Break it down. Pass some time. Fifty more minutes. Get some wood out of it. I mean, I can just hit the pass time option, but I. I I saw a crate. Right there. Pass another 15 minutes. More wood. Hooray! And also has the added bonus of uh, possibly uh, there being something inside the crate, as I discovered sometimes in uh, you know in the story mode. Sun icon is starting to creep in there. Okay, fine. I'll pass time for an hour. Just one hour. I don't know how you. My fingers feel numb. I don't know how he's playing cards in the dark. Still slowly dying from dehydration.
trying to find the bed again. So I can, you know, sleep another hour in there. I don't know, there's another building here. Is, is there an entrance to this? Maybe I can run randomly stumble around this instead for a bit. My hunger meter is reaching, but I'm going to have, I'm going to be dying from three different things at once in a moment. And be dying from hunger, thirst, and hypothermia at the same time. At least I'm well rested. Thanks to that bed. Find my way back to the bed again. It's the trailer, right? Damn it. So hungry. At least the temperature's a little higher. Once you continue to tick down, please tell me it's going to be lighter now. Holy crap! I can see things a bit the far. Huh. I wonder if I have trouble finding it. Lantern fuel. Well, I had a lantern to fuel. I'm not really expecting there to be anything else here at this point. Right over here. Thank goodness. I'm not gonna bother taking them up. Let's just break them open and eat them right now. You know what would be hilarious if right after doing this I find a can opener? There we go. Holy moly. Now I have all four meters off the bottom. Like. They're no longer, they're no longer bottomed out. So that's good. No wonder I had so much trouble navigating this. In the dark. Surrounded by snow, and nothing to drink. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. Mackenzie's a bit of an alcoholic, isn't he? <laughs> Head feel thick. Did I check this one? I did. Just curious. Anyway, I am curious about this wheel processing warehouse here. Is that? So cold. Just want to lay down for a bit. Is that a whale skull there? I guess so. I just kind of want 
take a moment to ch take a look at the surroundings before I take a look inside the warehouse itself. You know, I, like, I know my hit points are taken down. Okay, there are multiple trailers. There's so multiple uh, places to check out. Whale skeleton. There's a temperature in here. It feels like minus two. It needs some damn clothing. Like minus two is it's so close to uh, to zero and to positive temperatures that uh, you know, like I just need a coat and then. Um, I'd be able to hang out here without slowly dying, you know? I could eat anything. Okay. Firewood, that's cool. Here, is that a whetstone? These are so rare. Like I didn't went through the entirety of Astrid's episode of the, you know, episode three, and uh, didn't find a single one. Both the food and water meters are in the red. And slowly dying from the cold. This post apocalyptic scene. Anything in here? Safe. Oh, time to put my safe cracking skills to the test. Remember, you have to turn on the left first. Oh, which one was that? It was around the 30s, right? So around 35. Start with around 35, then around 45. slowly at this point. Ah! <sighs> Seriously? Come on. It probably isn't going to be any like food or anything usable in that sense here anyway. It's probably a waste of my time. But it's fun, so whatever. Makes me feel a little clever. What's in here? A can of gunpowder. <sighs> Valuable ingredient when crafting ammunition also handy is a fire accelerant. Oh, okay. Just half a kilo of so it. thirsty, I can't think straight. I got some accelerant out of the deal. Where are we in the day night cycle here? Approaching midday. Like workbench, workbench.
empty pop can tempting with it, tempting me or taunting me with its former contents. Here we go. Thank goodness. Just drink that right now. Here we go. Get myself uh, dying a little more slowly. Like, still dying. Don't get me wrong. Just, you know, dying from one direction instead of three. <laughs> Like the idea of uh, sleep the day away, but need to warm up. All I can think about is food. dramatic music because I, I, I briefly hit the red there <laughs> but then I, uh, I then the bed warmed me up and it went out of the red again <laughs> so I'm not dying anymore uh, I already have plenty of firewood oh yeah I'm okay for firewood I just need frickin ah matches whatever here no, oh, they're empty containers. So many gosh darn empty containers. Maybe I should play the lower difficulty level. Maybe uh, next time. Hey, I can always use more food. Matches. There's an angler. Structural book about uh, fishing. That's cool. Know if the hypothermia wouldn't kill me. Okay, so I have patches now. That's that's an important thing to find. Um, trouble is, uh, you know, food and water. Um, I mean, I need to find some place to escape this cold. I'm gonna search everything. Like, at least I have, I, I have beds in order to get the tiredness out. The matches will help with the, uh, 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 the temperature issue and the thirst issue. Now my primary concern is, uh, finding food. in a good old-fashioned book burning. Um, just need to find a suitable spot to start a fire. Backpacks. Take this food. I was about to say, do these backpacks ever have anything? And what do you know? It actually, did. I think it's gonna dry me out, isn't it? This has a bit of water in it, I think. out, um, let's search the rest of the trailers, and, or maybe I should start a fire and uh, uh, get, get myself some water first. Is there a wood burning stove around here? Or fire barrel, something like that?
Okay, uh, where was the way out? <laughs> I actually honestly don't remember. Yeah. Can I crouch and walk through this? Probably, I'm not gonna. Oh, it's just silly. Oh, wait. That looks like a door over there. How do I get there? Walk through the skeleton, that's out. Seriously, I need to I need to start a fire and uh, yeah. Where's that fire barrel? What the frick? What the what the mother frickin' frick? <laughs> what the frick? Need water. Okay, that freaked me the heck out. <laughs> There's a frickin' bear right there. Okay, no seriously, um. Slowly dying. Well, we got quickly dying. Um, damn it. Gosh darn it to heck. Um, I need to start a fire. Ah, oh, come on. Friggin' bear. Why was it? Where'd that bear even come from? What the hell? Is there another way out? One, is there another way out which isn't next to the damn bear? Where's this lead? Okay, there was a fire barrel here, where was it? Maybe I should say screw it and just put a fire down over here. Uh, here, use the accelerant. Get the fire going immediately. Get the water going now. How's the temperature? Drink! Holy crap! Ah, I'm hanging on with an inch of my life here, and uh. <sighs> fading, fading. Somehow, somehow clinging to life. Anything else I can make? Didn't I, um... Oh, yeah. Um... Hold on, hold on. Yeah, prepare throw sips. Let's make some mother frickin' tea. Why am I still fading? We're holding on to that last pixel of hit points. All four of my meters are in the positive, so... <sighs> Theoretically, I should be getting condition back, right? Whoa, four minutes. Crap, crap, crap. Stick, 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 stick. <laughs> Hips. Here we go. Uh, throw one more stick in there. Eighteen minutes. This is ten minutes. And then after this, I'm gonna make a run for one of the other trailers and check those out.
taking advantage of the warming up benefit. Plus the extra calories from the uh, rose hip tea. Drink it. I guess I need a bit of water. And a few, you know, bit in the way of calories. That's about as good as I can get it, I think. I see quarter liter of water. Uh, there's two minutes of fire and I only have five. I have three sticks left. Eh. Yeah, that three sticks is not enough not enough time to uh, get another bit of water, so Oh man, Mackenzie's in bad shape. <laughs> need to eat soon. Is this the same trailer I checked out before? There were a few different trailers, right? So this is a different one. This is one that has the bunk bed. Uh, food? Anything? Took! Here, zero, temperature is zero, but put this on, gets in the extra half degree. Okay, temperature is still zero. I guess that's surrounding here. But seriously, there's extra temperature. That's cool. Extra clothing. Always good in this game. where I can't... It's getting harder and harder to see things, damn it. I just finally got to the point where... I can actually, you know, get some daylight and actually see some things, and now I think my vision is all distorted because I'm dying. I'm not actually dying anymore. I'm uh, got myself off of death's door, and I'm just freaking bear. Like I wouldn't have been, ha I wouldn't have had to cut it so close and been so bad off if it wasn't for that bear getting in the way. Like I would have, I would have headed straight for the fire barrel and. You know, had a very comfortable uh, yeah, bar. I guess I guess everything. Um dice the shells, I think so. There's nothing in here. Darn it. Plus uh, a little bit of extra heat. Mackenzie's oh, really struggling. At this point, I'm just hoping to find a little bit of food so that I can sleep to uh, recover some more hit points without, you know, without immediately dying. <sighs> okay, so there, what, there are multiple trailers, or is this just one big trailer that they're, they're connected? How does this work? There are two entrances. Which entrance did I go in before? Was it I'm getting myself turned around. 
The fact that swaying and the vision is distorting isn't helping matters. It's a little distracting. Yeah, this is where I just was, and that I went through there. Yeah, okay. I, I think, am I healing? Like, it looks like there are two pixels there when there used to be one, so... I think there a, a tiny bit of healing did occur. It's just slow. As long as I can keep all my uh, meters in the positive. I should continue to heal slowly, and I think I heal a little faster if I'm sleeping, so... I uh, check out the surrounding area. Just... So this this is a different trailer, right? This is this is the one that I I, I was I looked in first, right? This is the one with the bed that's on the floor. Just I want to make sure I just get my bearings and stuff. Bed on the floor. Search container? Come on, food. Oh, these lockers. Locked. Should I start up another fire? I need to find food. I start a fire right now. How, how long can I keep it burning? Um, three sticks plus a book. That's that's probably long enough to because uh, I, don't, I don't have time to break one of these things down. It takes an hour and a half. I'm not going to survive that long. As soon as that temperature gauge hits zero, I, I'm like doomed. So. Um, chance of success go for it well thank goodness for that throwing everything on it you haven't completely reached go for it I, I don't I uh, don't have any option Is it minus two? God damn it! I felt so much for that because those, those, I was planning to warm myself up with these guys. Oh, I prepared for a sips to death. <sighs> we provided a small amount of nourishment and also warmed me up theoretically. Probably my best friend of that so far. <laughs> still, 
only one day survived. Didn't I've yet to have a game where I make it through two. You know, like if I'd found the matches sooner, maybe I would have had a better chance. <laughs> like I was already like <laughs> already practically dead by the time I, I was ready to start making the fire. I mean, I was already dying of thirst and cold at the same time. Calories expend 36.07 calories per day, 36.07. Oh, psh. Seriously, it only counted that as one day? Come on. I was well into the second day, wasn't I? I mean, that, that, that last session, it started like. Hours awake, hours rested. That's, so it's 26 hours, that's more than a day. See? <laughs> 18 hours indoors, 7 hours outdoors. Oh yeah, all the rose hips. Ah, darn. I don't know. Maybe I should try the lower difficulty level or challenge mode or something. Just I guess I'll save the journal. There, I'll keep the first one. One day, 19 hours. One day, two hours. This one's four hours. Started in Timberwolf Mountain. Died in Timberwolf Mountain. That's fine. Oh, I can, I can hear the water boiling. It's funny. This stuff continues on after you're dead. <laughs> Somebody's going to find my corpse next to a small can of potable water. Oh well. Oh well. It's still fun. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the the story mode it, it kind of lends itself to a lots of traipsing through um, endless landscapes with no worry of dying. I mean, worry of dying if you happen to run into a wolf at a bad at a bad time, I guess. But, uh, but other than that, it's like it's it's kind of dull. Whereas the survival mode is, is like uh, there's you, you constantly you're, you're constantly doing stuff and you're, you're just constantly in danger. So like it's uh, the struggle is real. Um, it's it's uh, no, just just I just find it gen generally more interesting. It feel Check out the challenge modes another time. Maybe I'll record it if I feel like there's demand for it. I don't know. I just uh, I just thought it would be uh, fun to visit this one more time. Like, um, yeah, I, I, I'm sorry to say, like I, I, the, the story mode was was just it was just kind of dull. I mean, it, it it had so much promise at the beginning. Like it sets up so much at the beginning of the story mode. That it gives you higher high expectations, and then it lets you down because nothing gets revealed. You, um, like nothing. I didn't find out anything in three episodes about what was going on with Astrid, what's going on, what was what was in Astrid and Mackenzie's history. What's the, what's the deal with their uh, their relationship, or what was the incident that? Cause them to split up, or 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 cause them to um, ask us to not want to talk to him for however many years. Um, like you know, if there was a bone here, give some bread comes to mix metaphors. You know, just like it would have been nice if they'd paced out that story. But I know I keep saying that. Uh, I said it in the other video, but yeah, it's just. Um, it, it just it just. Makes for something it just makes me unsatisfying. I mean, I mean, you know, like um, I, I, as a, someone who's dabbled in writing myself, um, this is the fun and interesting part, you know, like 
figuring out the characterization and uh, figuring out their backstories and uh, uh, and figuring out how their backstories influence influences them and uh, and uh, you know finding ways to insert it in places in the story, figuring out when the reveals should happen. Uh, it make, it's, it's interesting for the writers and it's interesting for the audience too. And they didn't do any of that, uh, you know, for whatever reason. I, 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 it, I guess they're trying, to, they're just trying to leave the reveals for later, maybe episode four, episode five. Uh, but uh, as it is, yeah, it's just the, the pacing is just so dismal in story mode. It's, it's. Basically non-existent. Um, there's, there's we're, we don't learn anything. It's uh, about. Um, I mean, like arguably, like, we, we learn stuff about the the world they find themselves in. About the, uh, you know, there's some talk of the forest talkers and uh, you know, general sense of the people of Great Bear Island feeling resentful of the mainlanders for being better off and, uh, you know, leaving them to fend for themselves after the, the, the collapse, uh, whatever that was. That's what they keep alluding to. <laughs> a cute little wolf. Uh, but, um, yeah, like all of the interesting character-driven stuff just isn't there. It was there in spades in the, at the beginning, like in the that first scene uh, between Mackenzie and Astrid is, is just rife with with tension between them, and then we just don't find out anything else about them. And, uh, I don't know. I just felt really let down by that. I guess. Um, yeah, because you're playing story mode. You're playing for the story. Theoretically, in addition to the, you know, the survival experience aspect of it, but um, yeah, yeah, as it as it would be, I'm just uh, <sighs> oh well, oh well, um. Yeah, I don't know. I I, I, feel, I feel like to, like development of this this project, this game is obviously very far along. They put a lot of work into it. I don't know if they'd listen to little old me if I made a report and said, "Hey, here are some suggestions." You know, random stranger on the internet, but uh, probably wouldn't hurt to share anyway. Maybe, maybe I'll join the. Long dark community or something. I don't even have a Discord or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Yeah. Other than that, um, I have to figure out what I'm what I'm gonna play next. Uh, still think I'd like to try out Simulacra. Um, I keep I know I keep saying that, <laughs> I'm putting that off. Also, definitely want to be. I want to stream uh, DDLC Plus when it comes out, and that's in a few days. That's on Wednesday. Sunday today, so three days from now, oh, one's dead. I just want to look up, like, it is, it is, it's the 27th today, right? Um, that's why my phone, I, I felt my phone vibrate earlier. I thought, oh, somebody messaged me. Like, no, I think that was the, the low battery warning, um, or battery dying warning. Anyway, I'm rambling. Um, so I think that's, that's enough out of me. Uh, until next time.